Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Chandrabal. In today's class, we will discuss about the three address code of some new types of codes or statements. Okay, just see. Construct the three address code. Construct the three address code of the following statement. This is the given statement. Okay. Okay. So this is the given statement. What What is the statement? Try to understand. If a is less than b and c is less than d, condition is if a is less than b and c is less than d, then t1 equals to a plus b. Else part t2 equals to a minus b. This is my code. Okay. Just say how first we will write the c address code. First we will write the c address code. First step. condition there are. Two conditions means when it will execute this statement and when it will execute this statement. Just say if both conditions are true, means this condition will true and this condition will true, then it will execute t1 equals to a plus b. If any one condition is false, if any one condition is false, means either first case or second case. If any condition is false, it will execute the t. It will execute the else part or t two equals to uh, sorry a minus b. Okay. So first we'll write. So here there are that means what? There are two if conditions we can say. Means this is the first condition and this is the second condition. Let's say if a is less than b, if a is less than b. Go to. This is blank space. Letter will fill. This is else part. Go to. Okay. This is one more condition. Okay. We'll write. If c is less than d. Go to. Blank space. Fourth one. Go to. Blank space. Okay. Fifth one. This is one condition. So t1 equals to a plus b. t1 equals to a plus b. Remember this one. t1 equals to a plus b is in already in three address code because here at most three number of addresses or three number of registers. So sixth one. What t2 equals to a minus b. So seventh one. This is the exit condition, or we can simply write like this blank. Okay. Okay. Say. Just say how to analyze. Just say if the first condition is true. If the first condition is true, then it will go to the second condition. It will go to the second condition. So if a is less than b, suppose my first condition is true. Just say first condition. And second condition. If my first condition is true, first condition is true, it will go to directly go to the second condition. Second condition means t is less than b, so it will go to where? It will go to three. Okay, it will go to three. If first condition is true, it will go to the third statement. Okay, just say. Now my first condition is true. So now I'll go to third statement or third con third condition. Or here third statement means the second condition. Suppose if condition is true. Suppose the second condition is true. If the second condition, first condition is true and the second condition is true, that means this condition is true. This condition is true means it will execute which part? T1 equals to a plus b. That means it will go to go to where? Number five because it will execute t1 equals to a plus b means number five. Okay, so if both conditions are true, okay, okay. Now we'll see if first condition is true. If my first condition is true and second condition is false, that means if first condition is true and my second condition is false. So see if first condition is true. It will go to. It will go to. Go to 
third statement means it will come to third statement suppose second condition is false if second condition is false like this one condition is false that means it will execute which part else part means t2 equals to a minus b if second condition is false it will execute which part line number 4 line number 4 is for else line number 4 is for else and line number 2 line number 2 is also for else statement okay so first condition true and second condition is false and second condition is false false means it will execute p2 equals to a minus b just see p2 equals to a minus b is line number 3 okay so first condition true second condition true if first condition true is over second condition false is over okay now suppose my first condition is false suppose my first condition is false if my first condition is false that means no need to execute no need to it will not go to the second condition because no need to execute the second condition no need to take the second condition because first condition is false means it will directly execute the else part it will directly execute the x part suppose my if a is less than b this is false this is false means it will go to second statement second statement go to it will execute which part else part else part means what t2 equals to a minus b t2 equals to a minus b is in six so it will fail number six this is also called as one type of what back pass back pass remember these orders may be different these orders may be different like this suppose here i i just write what if a is less than b go to and go to like this you can see if a is less than b go to second go to four suppose in number line number 3 i'll write what t1 equals to a plus b line number 4 i'll write t2 equals to a minus b in this way i can also write it's not a problem but this execution will be proper way the execution will be right for the just like like this set point okay the execution will same for all but the order may be changed for the order may be changed remember one thing here condition is if a is less than b if a is less than b it will execute which part true part or then part it will execute the then part suppose i can also write like this if if a is greater than b i can also write like this suppose if i a is less than b it will execute which part directly the else part directly the else part in this way i can also write it's not a problem but every three address code but every three address code should follow the methods or the rules of three address okay this is very very important okay the orders may be different it's not a problem now we'll see one switch case problem now we'll see one switch case problem okay see switch i switch i case one equals to x1 equals to a1 plus b1 star c1 break case two x2 equals to a2 plus b2 star c2 break default x3 equals to a3 plus b3 star c3 and break okay first we will see how to execute the switch state suppose i equals to 1 suppose here switch i suppose my i value equals to 1 if i value equals to 1 that means it will execute this part it will execute the case 1 part suppose my i value equals to 2 suppose my i value equals to 2 if i value equals to 2 then it will execute the case 2 part okay suppose i value equals to 3 suppose my i value equals to 3 that is means any number here there is no case 3 there is no case 3 or level 3 here here only two levels are there case 1 or two conditions two cases are there we can say 
Here there are two cases. Case one and case two are available, but there is no case three. If I value equal to one, it will execute the case one. If I value equal to two, it will execute the second case. Any other value of I except case except one or except one and two, it will execute which part? Default. It may be three. It may be zero. It may be four. It may be any value, but it should not be one or two. It should not be one or two. Okay. So now we'll write the three address code first. First, suppose if i equals to one, if i equals to equals to one. Suppose if i equals to equals to one, then go to Later will fill the blank space. Second point: If i equals to two, if i equals to equals to two, go to okay. Third number. Third number. Okay. Condition both conditions. Just retain the both conditions. Means if i value equals to one and i value equals to two, then we'll write we'll convert this one as Because x1 equals to a1 plus b1 star c, this uh, this line or this statement is not following three address code, so we have to convert. So t1 equals to what? B1 star c1. For t2 equals to a1 plus t1. Fifth one, x1 equals to t2. Okay, then six. Six here condition is also after execution this line. After execution of this line, then will break. Break means will out from the, will exit from the switch case. Will exit from the switch case. That means one go to must be need. Okay. Similarly, will convert this line also. So T two over then T three. T three equals to B two into T two. T four equals to A two plus T three. Ninth one. X two equals to T four. Tenth one. Go to then. Yeah, eleventh line. Ah. Uh, T four done. T five. T five equals to B three into C three. B three into C three. T six. T six equals A three plus T five. Thirteen. X three equals to T six. Then fourteen. Then eighteen. Fourteen. Exit. Okay. Now we will execute. Okay. Suppose if my i value equals to one. Suppose if my i value equals to one. I value one. Condition if i equals to equals to one. Go to where? We will execute this line. We will execute this line. So this line starts from where? Line number three. We will go to three. So t one equals to b one star c one. Then. We will execute line number four. T two equals to a one plus t one. Then we will execute x one equals to t two. Okay. Next. Then what? Then we will execute which line? Then we will break. Break means we will exit from switch case. We will exit from switch case. So exit. This is the exit line. Is what? Where? Forty. So we will exit. So we will exit. Okay, now suppose my condition i equals to two. Suppose I'll use my condition is here i equals to two. If i equals to equals to two, we'll execute this line x two equals to a two plus b two star c two. That means we'll execute line number seven. Then we'll go to directly seven. We'll execute line number seven. Then we'll execute line number eight. Then we'll execute line number nine. Then, then 
the next will execute what break break means will exit from the switch case exit from the switch case means line number 14 line number 14 okay suppose any other value suppose any other value suppose if i value equals to 3 first condition does not satisfy second condition does not satisfy it will directly go to where it will directly go to line number this line means default line means it will execute line number 11 line number 12 line number 13 then automatically it exits then automatically it will exit okay so in this way we can construct the p address code okay so in the next class we'll discuss about the three artists code for RS like 1DR, 2DR, and 3DR. Okay, thanks for watching.